it's time today for another book review. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, but today we're going to be looking at Jesse Ventura's Don't Start the Revolution Without Me. Now, this book is actually very interesting. It was written back in, I think, 2009, after Jesse Ventura had already been done, you know, for about five years of being the governor of Minnesota. And it's kind of a reflection. Uh, in this book, he's basically already living in Mexico and just giving his opinion on certain things. And after reading a lot of other books that came before this uh, by Jesse Ventura, it kind of shows like a natural progression of his thoughts, his ideologies, and I know I just mispronounced that word, of just how things were going in the world at the time. Now, it's actually very interesting. Um, this goes through also, you know, some wrestling stories, uh, his time being a professor at Harvard, and just, you know, meeting certain people like Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and Fidel Castro, for that matter. Now, it's just very interesting um, in this book, the stories that you hear that you would have never thought he would have been able to get away with, um, such as those meetings with foreign leaders and stuff like that, where you would think people in political power would have done all they could to stop him from meeting with certain people and try to create diplomatic relationships. And in parts of the book, you realize that they did, or they had people following him. Um, for what it's worth, though, a lot of the messages portrayed in this book are cool because they haven't changed based on his stance as years have gone on. Um, everything that he stood for in the previous books that he wrote while he was running for governor, while he was governor, all those thoughts and those ideologies are still there. Um, and it's kind of cool to see someone who hasn't flip-flopped their opinion, um, aside from gaining just more knowledge and thoughts to back up their opinion and maybe changing their stance on certain things but having reasons to do so for the most part uh when you read a jesse ventura book you're getting the man himself and not kind of like a political satire of you know generic ideals uh generic ideas of how a country should be run how government should be run but just a person that's kind of speaking to you one-on-one -on -one, it feels like that's based on the stories and it's just based on things you learn, and it kind of opens up your mind into a different insight of things, of where we live in a kind of generic society to the extent where we're kind of, it's kind of enforced on us what's right and wrong. And, you know, for certain things that's fine, but on other things it kind of stifles you to learning just about the world in itself, um, if that makes sense as to... The world is a lot more expanded than in a generic society they've led you to believe. And, you know, it's not just the thoughts from the people up top that you should follow. You're able to go out there and do your own thing. Uh, Jesse Ventura, as I mentioned, ran as an independent in the 1998 um, Minnesota governor election. And before he went into the debates, it was at 10%. Got into the debates, won the election. And it shows that a person... With enough fight in them, with enough ideas of how to break the conventional system, can gain public notoriety and can go to basically the top of the food chain. Now, this book only follows up to 2009, and even then, it's just interesting to kind of see where his mind was at at the time, whether he was going to run for president, how he felt on certain situations, and I think this book is the first of that series where he kind of starts throwing conspiracy theories out there to the point where you kind of see where he's progressed past then. After this book was written, he wrote the um, book They Killed Our President, 63 uh, Reasons Why There Was a Conspiracy to Kill JFK, all things like that. And it's kind of interesting to kind of see how much from reading the books in his series, his... Mental state has changed to the extent where it's more about now finding the truth uh, and trying to break the system. And I think this is the first book in his, like, uh, written collection where the ideas start to finally build upon themselves. And you kind of see a break from being a more traditional um, person to an extent to actually exploring different ideals. And I think... Jesse Ventura, as himself, he has a very powerful way of speaking, a very powerful way of writing, and 
to some people it might seem intimidating, but when you actually read into everything that's been written, it kind of makes you wonder. And it, in a good way, to the extent where he's definitely taking everything that he's discovered, everything that he's learned, and if you open up your mind, it all starts to make sense. Don't Start the Revolution Without Me is definitely a good read where you're probably going to learn a lot of things that you didn't learn and you can kind of see the world through his eyes and try to understand it, which is awesome to that extent. And I would definitely <laughs> recommend this read to anyone. It's about 300 pages long. Um, it was my goal to finally finish this book before year's end and December 31st, finished. And... I would definitely recommend picking up this book, as I mentioned. You probably get it for like six bucks now, because it's kind of old. But it's a long book, it's an interesting read, and for someone who wants to kind of expand their knowledge or their opinions on things, definitely check this one out. I definitely feel like everyone should kind of read a Jesse Ventura book at least just once, to kind of break your mold on what you think of reality to an extent where you're going to start seeing things, I think, a little different afterwards. And I think it's going to be for the better. If you guys have read this book before, if you guys have any questions, leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching this video. Like it, share it, subscribe to the channel, go check out all my other videos. Get ready to celebrate tonight, guys. 2019 is coming. Until next time, see ya.